You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be doing predictions for the Evolution pay-per-view. The monumental pay-per-view. First time ever. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Um, hopefully it's a good show. I sure hope so. Uh, we will be there live, so... We will be. I'm just just hoping for the best. Uh, there there is definitely potential potential for matches to be much better than anticipated, and I don't even think it's that. It's just been the build has been. It's just been an afterthought. That's really what it's that coupled with the fact that most of these feuds have been going on for a while. It's true. Because um, well, I feel like I'm mean, just SmackDown, like with the Becky and Charlotte thing. That's been like going that's on. Just, but that's I guess it's just all WWE all around. It's like AJ and. Joe lasted a while. AJ and Nakamura lasted for a while. Mm-hmm. It just seems like the title feuds, they're just holding yeah. on to them. They're usually three matches. Yeah. That's usually how it goes. And I guess technically this is number three. For Becky and Becky Charlotte? Becky and Charlotte. Yes. Because they had that ma- the match at the Hell match. in a Cell, mm-hmm. the one on SmackDown afterward, mm-hmm. and then this one, right? I guess. Technically they had a match at SummerSlam too. Yeah, it was a triple threat. Yeah. So... Anyway, yeah, um, I guess we'll get started with. Uh, I don't know what the hell would open this. Maybe the trip, I would uh, six woman. I tag. would expect the six woman tag to yeah. open it up. We got uh, Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Natalia versus the Riot Squad. Yes, um, the new match. job squad. Just thrown together. Yep. I guess we didn't have anything for them to do. I mean, they could have even done something Raw versus SmackDown. Here. Women's tag team titles. Okay, yes. There's signs everywhere for Yeah, it's them. because they've been handing them out. Oh, really? Yes. Huh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, they could have just, like I said, could have done a Raw versus SmackDown here. You could have had the Riot Squad versus, like, the Iconics and Carmella or something like that. It's true. They could have done that. We didn't get any SmackDown versus Raw match because nope. that's... I mean, maybe they'll still do that with the women for Survivor Series, but... Uh, it'll probably happen because they, they usually do. Well, now that throws everything, a wrench in the works. The the, ca- the Corbin versus uh, Angle thing, I don't think will happen. Yeah, now it's... I, th- I think with everything that's been going on, it, it'll go back to the so way they did it last maybe. time. Maybe. And you'll get AJ versus Braun yep. or something like that. It'd be interesting. Ooh. Or they'll, or they'll do AJ versus Brock part two. Wouldn't be bad. No, it wouldn't. All right, we, let's focus on this paper. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's focus because on the there's task at hand. so much more we could just go on about. Yeah, it's true. Um, obviously, Sasha Bailey and Natalia are gonna win. Oh yeah, there's no reason they shouldn't go over no. here. And this just seems like a match that would that's meant to open the show to get the crowd into which it makes with sense. Bailey and Sasha. Yeah, right. But it just. Like I said, Bailey and Sasha were such a big part of the push for women's re- the current women's wrestling, mm-hmm. and it's just sad that this is how it ended up. Uh, I don't know. It, it, there was could, so much potential. We could talk about it. forever of how the Sasha and Bailey thing is well, not making any sense the way that they're being friends and they're not being no, friends. No, I know, but I'm just talking about them just being a, a more significant part in the whole thing. Sure, they should have had... They should have had another Iron Man match. Something. That would have been great. Why not? Yeah. Even if they weren't fighting each other, they should have just had a match. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it would have been fine. It's true. Uh, then we, we'll we go with the Women's Battle Royal. Yeah, why the not? The winner gets a title shot or a future title shot. Yeah. Um, um, do we have participants for this match? This... Obviously, we're not going to read them all out. No. Um, but I'm just looking. Yeah, they're down at the bottom but pretty here. much the current roster yeah um and then some legends including tori wilson michelle mccool and Andre blaze ivory kelly kelly molly holly yes and maria canellis mm-hmm. will, be will be returning in the ring for yep. the first time i think she said in like eight years something like that something it's like been that. a while uh so i think there's really only two obvious choices here i like that they're written as free agents oh nice it's funny um one being Asuka, the other being Ember Moon. Yes. Asuka versus Becky would be a good way to go if mm-hmm. she does hold on to the title. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Ember Moon versus uh, Ronda? Ronda. Or, yeah. Don't say or. <laughs> Dummy. 
So, but yeah, that that would Ember for me is the the number one choice. Yeah, I think that would make the most sense. It's true. Followed by Asuka. Yeah. So but, gonna, oh, but, no, no, I was no. gonna, I was gonna say, but you never know. It's true. It could be it could be Carmella. She's gonna take her title back. Yeah, that would make sense. No, uh, Tamina. She's gonna be there Tamina. you go. No, I, it's just WWE is their Kelly book, Kelly. Yeah, <laughs> their booking of battle royals isn't that great. You watch the uh, the one from All In, right? Yes. Yeah. That or, was a, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a cluster. Oh, absolutely. But it was fun. Yeah, but it was fun because they made it interesting. WWE doesn't do that with their battle. No, no, no. We no, get no. one spot where everybody you know has a standoff or and whatever. Everybody tries to lift Nia Jax over the top rope. Yeah, it's just. Gonna... And then they try to lift up Tamina. It's like the Royal Rumble. Yeah, pretty much. But if they did that, did it in Rumble fashion, it would have been so oh, much no, better. Oh, no, this should have been a Royal Rumble. It would have been so much better. Yeah. I think the problem is they wouldn't have had enough people. Pro- yeah, you didn't need to do 30. I know. You just done 20. But that's probably the reason why they didn't do a, a Rumble. I guess. But you wouldn't have even needed this if you just did the, some sort of tag title thing or it's something true. like that. That would have been better. Which, I, I, I guess, is that going to be their next push? I mean what the women's tag titles well you said they're handing yeah, out that's, signs that's what i read online who is they wwe they were handing out the signs really yeah that's strange yeah no, they've done it before like the ballot like the bailey section and all yeah. those Cesaro well, that's, section that's things that's like different that, i guess that's really different yeah but i don't know yeah but uh, why would people you know just randomly that there are people who want things no i know there was an what... english sign on smackdown <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know there's no reason for anybody to push for it's not like we've really seen i mean we have seen more tag teams there's come always together. rumors around it i, I think guess that's, that's true why. i guess that's true um but yeah all right so you going with ember moon then yes yes, yes all yes. right then i'll pick oscar just right. so we're uh different and we can both be wrong together yeah when uh tamina wins it <laughs> uh let's see we have the finals for the Mae Young Classic. Yes. Io Shirai versus Tony Storm. Yes, which is, I think is going to be the best match of the night. It's possible. I know I've heard good things about these people. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen either of them wrestle. I've probably seen Tony Storm wrestle. Yeah, she was in the Classics late. late not don't the- don't you dare accuse me of watching that, because <laughs> I just it's just too much too much wrestling, not enough storyline going on for me to pay attention. I guess that's fair. Yeah, I guess it. Yeah. So Can't like I, I can into it. I can appreciate what's going on, but I just I just don't have the patience to sit there and watch so many matches at once. Okay, it's not easy to mm-hmm. do for me. All right, least. that's fair. So, how are you gonna sit through like eight hours of wrestling on Sunday? That's a good question. <laughs> well, no, but the difference is I know what's going on here. Yeah, I will have no idea at the other <laughs> show that 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 i'm just gonna have to hope i can get into it yeah, it's, but it'll be but fun. there's also a big difference between being there it's watching true. something and it's sitting true. at home it's true. when i have my phone i can play with or mm. other things <laughs> okay <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> um so like it's like i'm gonna go watch this on the tv and then i'm playing with my laptop or whatever all right fair enough fair so, enough um so i i don't know who you're gonna pick i'm just gonna pick the other person though all right um well i mean i think tony is in the nxt uk branch i think and i know eo has been traveling with their nxt brand so it's not like one's you know but they're both nxt people now yeah 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 yeah, yeah, absolutely um i but i mean it doesn't make a difference though because it's just the mayon classic it's not yeah there's no they haven't added any stipulations or anything like that the winner getting anything well there was no stipulation last year either no but then Kyrie got inserted into that that was because oscar Oscar had a big yeah yeah yeah. um but no i'm i and i'd like to see tony storm win it but i think their eo shirai is gonna win it all right then i can pick tony storm there you go there we go there we go yeah, it, it, it's it's a crapshoot when there's no stakes. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I mean, if they did it where the winner gets a contract or something like, you know, something like that. Yeah, but they're already both signed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, and or at then, least Tony is for the NXT UK. I don't know how that translates, but they've been kind of moving people back and forth, I think, between the yeah, rosters. Yeah, it doesn't mean so, anything. Yeah. Well, I think that, I guess if you're only signed to the UK, I guess you can wrestle like indie shows and stuff like that. It's, probably it's just that, WWE takes precedent over it's anything It's probably else. the contracts that they sign saying that they can do. I'm sure there's uh, people who are on the UK stuff that just are exclusive to NXT and... Well, it's like uh, Mustache Mountain. They wrestle all over yes. the place. Yeah, but if WWE needs you, you're taking that date that takes precedent over yeah. anything else. Yes, so... But... <clears throat> all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess they're... Now on is all title matches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then we got the NXT Women's Championship. Yeah. Kyrie Sane versus Shayna Baszler. Uh-huh. I... Sane has to hold on. I to would that, assume right? that. Yeah, we'll I don't see her. Probably be seeing Sheena on Raw sooner rather than later. I'm, yeah, I mean that makes sense if that's where they want to go with things. I don't know if they're going to push that or they're going to put her on SmackDown. Well, that's fine. I just meant on the main roster. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it matters where she goes. No, but I mean, uh, I mean, you could just keeping her keep with them... Ronda would make right, sense. but keeping them separate, like yeah. kind of knowing each other is there. But it could be like. Um, what Sasha and Bailey used to be. Kind of. Where yeah. they knew each other, but mm-hmm. they didn't necessarily get yeah. involved with anything. Um, right, because, yeah, something's got it. Because, obviously, the one woman who's going to win the Battle Royal is going to face... I want to probably having a feud with the champion of their respected show and the other show. Maybe you'll get call up, like, Shayna or something like that. Not necessarily to go into she, it right away. I was going to say, I don't think Shane is going to be going No, I, I know, but I mean, I think an NXT call-up is going to go to a show on the, or the opposite show of the winner of the, I don't know, just I, a guess I have. I, I don't know. I, like I said, I think Shane is just going main, up main roster. It makes sense. Sooner rather than yeah. later. Um, and then we got yeah. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair in a last woman standing match from, for the SmackDown title. First ever. First ever. <laughs> <laughs> except for, in nxt yeah because oscar and nikki cross yeah. had one yeah that was a really good match like a year ago it Something wasn't even like that long ago yeah i was had uh, over a, a, year. Big, a year and a half ago yeah. maybe that was a good match though yeah. it was if becky loses i riot yeah like the riot squad does so i'm gonna s- squirt ketchup on people <laughs> <laughs> no uh, becky has to win she has to win she should yeah there's no reason she shouldn't nope. win because if if she doesn't, then all this was for nothing. It's true. Because right now, they're hopelessly trying to create Charlotte. Charlotte as the mega baby face. Yeah. But all it's doing is making people like Becky more. Right. And I think they were advertising them for like December house shows and stuff like that. Well, a lot of the times, I know it's they so, just it's do current storylines. So. But yeah, I don't know. It would be interesting to see where Charlotte would go if. Becky moves on to say Oscar or someone else like that. Charlotte can. It's it's been the SmackDown problem. Yeah. Unless she like feuds with Vega. I guess she would be the only one who makes sense because everybody else is like team based. Yeah. But yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, definitely Becky. I'm gonna have to agree there. Yeah. And now for our main event. Mm-hmm. It's oh. kind of funny. Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella. Yeah. I'm gonna I start to st- beat the traffic chant. I st- <laughs> <laughs> I still say that Nikki Bella is probably a very or is a very good choice for facing Ronda because there's no so much damage can be done for the reputation of Ronda's opponents. I guess. Because no one... Nia Jax kind of... No, Nia Jax never didn't lose to her. Nia Jax lost it to Alexa. Yes. So Nia wasn't hurt by facing Ronda. No, but Alexa, she, then she just randomly disappeared off yeah, TV. But it was just fine. Um, Alexa couldn't have been hurt by Ronda. Mm-hmm. So I think they kind of took the easy route, more or less. It's true. Um, and I think... Because I, I think they want her to have the title for a while, so they're gonna have yeah I don't they're gonna have like the least painful like oh it's painful I wouldn't be surprised or I wouldn't be too shocked if after Nikki loses Bree is gonna be the next one 
I guess there's a possibility yeah. of yeah. that. Because because she's not booked for even the battle royal or anything, Brie. Really? Yeah, I uh, looked no, through no. and her name wasn't in there. Yeah. Granted, that doesn't necessarily mean that. No. This is just things that they confirmed. Yeah. So she could be in it. But obviously she will be at ringside. And I was going to say she's, she's on the poster. Yeah. She will be a factor in this match. Yes. Not a surprise. Twin magic. That's what they used to call it. Yeah. They don't really look the same anymore, though. They look uh, similar. Sometimes. But... Sometimes when watching Total D, it was like, they, you tell them apart. When, when Brie was, like, pregnant and coming off of being pregnant, she looked like her boobs were bigger than Nikki's, for sure. <laughs> okay. They, they liked showing that off on Total D. Well, yes, they did. I don't know do. if you're aware of that. Yeah, they were talk, there was talk about putting Ronda Rousey on the show. That's a terrible idea. Yeah. Um, But whatever. Uh, But, yeah, Ronda's going to win. Yeah, I don't see any reason not. Ronda's going to stand tall. To... The crowd loves her, so mm-hmm. they'll go home happy. So the I match won't. will probably yeah. end with her breaking both of their arms. Unless uh, one of them breaks hers first. I guess that's true. Or breaks their own trying. Yep. So. But yeah, that was uh, that was our predictions. Yeah. Like I said, hopefully the pay-per-view is better than it's been given a build for. I yeah. don't know. We say it all the time, though. The ones that seem like they're going to suck are good, and yeah. the ones that we think are going to be good are kind of eh. It's true. So. It's true. Although so, they've been pretty on point with their pay-per-views lately. Yeah, usually they bring it. It's This is a completely different animal, so to speak, you know? It's true. I mean, we'll see. Mm-hmm. We will see. Yep. So uh, that was our WWE Evolution predictions video. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.